And when it's in standard form like this, the best method to use is the elimination process. So we're going to multiply the second equation by negative 2. So first equation stays the same. Second equation is going to be negative 4x plus 10y is equal to negative 32. Please make sure you multiply the entire equation, not just the variable you're trying to get rid of. Common mistake that I do see. X's cancel out. We're left with 13. Y is equal to positive 6 plus negative 32. It's going to give me a negative 26. And once we combine, not combine, but divide by 13, we're going to get negative 2 for our Y. So at this point, we're almost done. We need to plug this back in. And it doesn't matter which equation we plug this into, we'll get the same answer. So we have 4x plus 3 times negative 2 is equal to 6. So 4x minus 6 is equal to 6. When we add 6 on both sides, we'll have 4x is equal to 12. And after we divide, we're going to get x is equal to positive 3. So the coordinate or the solution to the systems of equations will be the point or the ordered pair 3, negative 2.